So disinformation here had uh, several good events, went down to Brazil with it, back to Norwalk a couple of times. It had a fair amount of damage, and I had really just decided that I was going to rebuild it from scratch for the next time. Um, we had a unique opportunity. Uh, typically, RoboGames doesn't run smaller weight classes, but they are this year. They're helping out another event to run some of their smaller classes. And so I had the opportunity to run this information one more time coming up at RoboGames. So there were some things that I wanted to upgrade and change. Some of those things I've accomplished. There's also some changes I had to make because I'm going from Norwalk's rules to RoboGames rules. So I can't take advantage of some of the unusual rules that NHRL has as far as uh, multi-bots, extra weight, and whatnot. So it had to lose some weight in the process. Um, so I made some changes there. Hopefully when we're done it all adds up to the right amount. Uh, this also has some fairly significant damage that I'm just going to have to live with. So uh, th there's a cut right here. and It's not all the way through the frame, but it's pretty close. This was uh, from Floor Letter Word, cut through there and hit it right there. Um, so uh, hopefully the drum stays in the frame and stays attached. As far as the changes internally go, um, I'd ran a, a VESC style speed controller for the weapon before. Uh, did nothing but fight with it. So uh, we're going to try the, try the castle this time. Um, I know a lot of teams have used them and been really happy with them. And I think this will be a good upgrade as far as control for the weapon system goes. The rest of the internals are essentially the same as they were before. And all of that stuff worked fine. I was pretty happy with it. Um, to make weight, I am going to make some changes. So I'd used a, a, a bigger battery, a, a 6500 6L last time, and I'm going to drop down to a slightly smaller battery because I'm losing, losing some weight in the process. The back panel before was a thick piece of AR plate, and so that's been replaced by a thinner piece of titanium. I think, in my head, this should all add up to 30 pounds when I'm done. I think I think we'll make weight. So uh, I guess I guess at this stage the the game plan is let's uh, let's bolt it together, throw it on a scale, and see what we got. So 29 pounds, 4 ounces, and I've still got, still got the little titanium pieces for the little ground scrapers up front. So I've still got to add those, and then the bolts to hold that on, I will be just under 30 pounds. So, hey. Happy with that? I, I, <laughs> I did the math in my head, and hey, imagine that, it worked. Um, so I guess at this point in time, just uh, maybe give it a spin, make sure everything works, and then I have a robot ready for robo games.
Well, it's all back together. It works. So uh, um, I think it's time to start concentrating on some of the other robots. But uh, this information will be there, and we'll be uh, ready to put on a good show.